All right, day two. So it begins. Oh, we need coffee. Mm. I <clears throat> went to the dollar store and just got cheap 30 gallon bags <clears throat> and put all of that carpet and padding and yucky wood, all of that into the bags, took it to the dump, dumped it. Looked like I was dumping bodies. Everything's fine. No questions. That's odd. All right, so um, I'm going to treat these um, stair rails just as I did my cabinets when I painted those. Those were originally like that, you know, stained wood oak 1990s nonsense. I painted them white. I used an enamel paint. I watched a lot of YouTube videos and, you know, what's the best paint and what's the best method and mm, mm, mm. So, I don't know that I want to, I know that I don't. I know that I don't. I'm not going to pull these off. And I also want to paint the hardware black as well. So I'm going to tape around here um, and I'm going to tape off my spindles because I want those. Let me give you a little shot of, well, you can't see them. Okay, there they are. There they are. I want to keep these white um, and just paint anything that's this dark color in this black carbon color. So I asked them to give me the same thing I used for my cabinets, just an enamel type of um, paint. Uh, I got a quart of it. I think a quart will be more than enough to do these. I'm hopefully going to get two coats on it. Um, and I got satin because I don't want it to be glossy nonsense and I don't want it to be flat where I can't wipe it down because after cold and flu season I wipe these down <laughs> or after I get sick and I use them when I'm sick and need help getting down the stairs we wipe them down with disinfectant okay yeah real weird about germs because I get sick a lot and we, we're not going to do that um, so I just got this Bear Premium Satin Cabinet Door and Trim Enamel, Interior or Exterior, for cabinet doors, trim, molding, and shutters. Um, fast drying, excellent flow and leveling, <clears throat> dries to a hard, durable finish, and it is sandable. Um, two coats required. I can get about 100 square feet out of this can, dry to the touch in an hour, recoat after two hours, clean up with soap and water. Just makes me excited. <clears throat> I remember when we used to have to use paint thinner, and I'm so glad we don't have to do that anymore. Anyway, so this is the fabulous color. It's called Carbon. It was even a darker black than a black. I don't, I don't know. It looks like it has black, KXL and LL, I don't know. I don't know what those um, colors are. So, here's the plan. I am going to take a washcloth and some Dawn and just wipe it off. This is acting as a degreaser to get any grease off from my hands, from, you know, just whatever may be on here that we don't even know it might be on here, okay? We're going to clean it up. Then I'm going to take... Didn't bring that. Let me go get that real quick. All right, so I have 320 grit sandpaper. You don't need anything um, 
heavy duty. You're not trying to sand away the whole top surface. All you're trying to do is just get it roughened up enough to where that paint will stick. So you're going to, you know, sand a little bit, right? And then I usually take a tack cloth and wipe it down to get any of those fine particles off. Went to Walmart, they don't have it. Went to Ace, they didn't even know what I was talking about. I said, you know, those cheesecloth that have the tack in them and after you sand something, you wipe it down with the tack cloth to make sure that you don't have any fine particles in there that when you paint, you're gonna have little bumps. You don't want those. That man took me to the kitchen aisle. Don't, don't underestimate me, child. I just pulled up carpet and baseboard and some tack strip. Now I'm getting ready to paint. Don't act like I don't know what I'm doing and that I need to be in the kitchen with cheesecloth. Okay. I just, I can't with the chauvinistic crap. Like, that's something that really gets me. I went to Home Depot one time and I said, do y'all have fasteners for outdoor siding. And this other guy walks up and asks the lady if they have doors. With, hey, no bark. Doors with doggy doors built in. And I looked at him like I was talking. And I was like, so yeah, about the fasteners. And he's like, what are you looking for? And I said, you know, they're the little silver things that you fasten to your um, outdoor vinyl so that you can hang things on it. He's like, oh, I think you need to go to Michael's for that. I went to Amazon. I found them. And I hang stuff on my outside. But to him, I looked like a little four foot ten girl. Didn't know what she was doing. <laughs> In a hardware store. Make me so mad. Mm. All right, here's another thing, and then I'm going to stop chatting and start working. Bull in a china shop, absolutely no patience. Um, therefore, I can be messy when I paint, so I get the four-inch painter's tape. <laughs> because I know me, I'll have half this wall black. So I'm probably going to, you know, cut it into smaller strips to get it around these hardware pieces. Um, yes, I want to paint these walls. They're scuffed. But that's going to be done professionally because it, it's, we, no. We, I'm, hmm, I know my limits, okay? I do know my limits, maybe. Pretty much. Sometimes. Okay, I'm going to start cleaning these railings now, and then we'll sand and start painting. So I just put a little bit of my Dawn dishwashing liquid and some water down in here. I'm not trying to soak this. I just want to get, no, I just want to get some cleaner to it. So I'm going to wring this out really good. And just wipe it all down. I'll fast forward through this part.
Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to just go through with a paper towel or a towel or something and just wipe them down, make sure all of the moisture is gone, and then I'm going to vacuum my steps, then I'm going to sand them, then I'm going to re-vacuum my steps, then we'll start taping. Steps have been vacuumed. I'm now going to go through with a fine grit sandpaper and just gently go with the grain of the wood and just sand it down a little bit and then I'll wipe it down and get all that fine dust off. But that just helps it to get off any more dirt that may be on there. It gives it a surface for the paint to adhere to. Um, so yeah, when I first did my um, cabinets, I was worried about sanding them because I was like, oh my gosh, what if I sand them away? No. With 320, you're not going to be sanding anything away. You're just scuffing the surface. Now, if you had like an 80 grit, <laughs> you might do some damage. This is also good because I can get into these little grooves and get all of that sanded. And anywhere that's hard to get in, I just take the paper, rub it right on in there. I also want to make sure I'm getting the back. I'm just going to continue to sand, then I'm going to come through and wipe it off with my rag because I couldn't find tack cloth. I could go back to Home Depot, but we're not. And then we'll start painting.
All right, so I have finished painting the railings. This is where we are with that. I love the color. In fact, I loved it so much <laughs> that I'm painting all of my doors the same color. What in tarnation do I have going on? So this is just pretty much one coat because I had the windows open, it's rainy, the paint won't dry, so I had to close all the windows. I'm gonna turn on the air conditioning. I'm done for today. I've worked, I've worked on the house. I've had the contractor in to measure and give me my final quote, which I actually went out and bought a Pepsi because I was like, I don't smoke anymore, so what? Well, I need something. Well, I don't drink, uh, yeah, I'll have a Pepsi. So yeah, we're just sitting here waiting for paint to dry. And in case you're curious as to what I'm looking like, <laughs> this is me painting all everywhere. Have my painting clothes on so I can just wipe it off on my clothes and all is right with the world. But right now, I'm going to take a break because my hands hurt really, really bad. The paint needs to dry. I'm not patient, so I need to walk away from it. Put the paint up that I have in this floor. Sorry. Put all of this paint up that I have, and then we'll come back when I do more. <laughs>